One lady lives upstairs. She couldn't get in her building. She came and stand inside. She said, Deb, let me thank you for letting me stand in here when it's warm. And I said, I'm a cup of coffee while you're here. So we're, we're, we make fun of it. You know, it is what it is. Businesses are thinking quick after a fire in downtown Fargo caused significant damage. Good evening and thanks for joining us. Andrea has the night off. A little after 10 this morning, a kitchen fire caused more than just distress in downtown Fargo. Significant water damage from the sprinkler system affected businesses below the apartment. And as we found out, it was really quite a mess. The alarms all went off. What happened in a scare above? And then they shut off and then they came back on, soaked businesses below. And then all of a sudden, our roof started leaking. It was raining. Eyes on Broadway, Ode Cache, Proper and Prim, and Shauna Lee all had water damage from a fire that started from an apartment right on top of these boutiques. We're kind of moving from uh, fire attack and extinguishment right now into trying to get the water shut off and get it cleaned up as much as possible. From buckets to tarps, firefighters were quick to help. And the firemen were there and they said, Deb, we'll bring you a tarp. Where are you at? And I said, I was on Broadway. So the fire department, in fact, from West Fargo, because I asked him where he's from, laid the tarp and said, if it gets full, they'll bring us another one. And although no one was hurt in this situation, other shops downtown are taking this as a learning lesson. You can't live without insurance. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I couldn't sleep at night if I knew that one fire or one something could wipe me out by having to pay for my business below me. But in all of life's crazy twists and turns, Tufty chooses to take it for what it is. We just go with the flow. That's that's Broadway. That's downtown. We just, what happens, happens, and we just have fun with it. In Fargo, with photographer Dave Erickson, Christine Stanwood, Valley News Live. Fire officials are still investigating the cause. They also say people living there should be back in their apartments tonight. As for the dollar amount of the damage, they don't know yet.